with set point, it's easy to correlate process data with vibration data. We do that through the Pi system. So going back to Pi System Explorer, I'll demonstrate how you add in that process data. And later on, we'll show how you can use that in displays and in set point CMS. So in System Explorer, I have a, a model for a compressor gearbox motor. And I'll go ahead and add an attribute in there to bring in a, a power attribute. So I'll go ahead and name that. And then I'll map it to Pi data point. So I already have a Pi point set up for that power data. So I'll just paste it in here. And then I check it in and that will make it available for displays. So now that the process data has been added to the Pi system, I can go back to my machine train diagram in Pi Vision and I can add it to my display. So I'll go ahead and select a value plot and, and then I have navigated to my model, my machine here, my compressor gearbox motor, and I can see my attributes for the motor and my power attribute is now there. So I can simply drag it on the display. And from that point, I can format it. In set point CMS, it's then easy to bring up the same process data and correlate it with the vibration data as well as with the dynamic data. So uh, again, I'll go down to my machine attributes on my compressor gearbox motor and then bring in that same power attribute. With that, we can correlate process data with vibration and better ensure we can get to root cause.